Welcome to the Hub City Brew Review. I'm Christopher George. And I'm Mike Cathcart. This week we've got something from Terrapin. Uh, they are a brewery out of Athens, Georgia. And uh, we've been wanting to do something by them for a while. This is their rye pale ale. Uh, we've been wanting to do something from Terrapin for a while, but it's a little spotty, a little hard to find them in the yeah, they, they don't really offer the, uh, what, the golden ale. And yeah. Uh, it's like two selections, so it's not really, it's kind of hard to get. And they're hard to find, and you know, the one time I did find some in Oasis, it, it had been expired by about three months. Uh, you know, I like Oasis, but sometimes <laughs> they need to check their uh, stock a little more. But anyway, um, so we went to this new place in Greenville called the Community Tap. It is a store by beer geeks for beer geeks, more or less. Great selection. You know, I will... A more refined selection, I guess. Very refined. Um, because, you know, you got places like Total Wine. Which is the Walmart know. of alcohol. Yeah, really. they're, they're good by default. They have so much, they're bound to have something you want. Exactly. But this place is way more selective with their stock, you know. Yeah, they have tons of unique, interesting beers that you can't find anywhere else. I mean, really, well, anywhere else in the upstate, I would imagine. I think that's a pretty safe limb for me to climb out on. Um... And they also fill these nifty growlers, which uh, growlers are great. If you're not on the growler bandwagon, you definitely you get, get on it. Yeah, uh, I think they offer six at a time, and they change them up, and mm -hmm. you know, pretty good selection on those growlers. We got the got we a got couple a couple. Of them. Yeah, <laughs> we're prepared. Yeah, and uh, they also, uh, I think they also fill other growlers from other places. I'm not sure about that. I saw a guy in line who had one. If at the very least they may exchange it for one of theirs, yeah, but either way, like you got a growler. Um, and on to the actual beer we're reviewing here. Um, this is a rye pale ale. Now we've done one other rye beer before, and it was an IPA. Uh, little, it was the rye. A little hopper. unbalanced. Mm -hmm. um, the rye and the hops fought too much, but you know. Yeah. Anyway, I I, I thought so. Uh, this though uh, poured a nice golden color. Yeah, real yeah. light, um, nicely carbonated, uh, nice uh, carbonation and everything. It's just, you know, right mm -hmm. color. Looks like a pale ale should. Good gold color, very, very nice looking. Looks exactly like a pale ale should, I, I think. And um, on the nose, I mean, yeah, you, herbal and floral hops. Yeah, it's both at the same time. You know, you get the herbal, earthy smell of the hop, and you also mm -hmm. get the citrus floral part, which, you know, the aromatic hops is from a later addition in the boil when you're right. making it. So, you know. And the bittering hops you add before because the boiling extracts that's oil. The beauty of brewing, you know, you it's very uh, crucial when you add things and for how long and You get this get to see us fuck up on some on some uh, home brew uh, here hopefully shortly. So looking you'll forward see. to it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then on the uh, taste of this beer, it, it's interesting because that rye malt that is just barely there in the nose really takes center Switch. stage yeah. yeah you big rye presence which it should because it's a rye beer you yeah. know or why else do it uh the difference between a rye malt and a regular malt uh the rye is very sour yeah it's yeah. like you think like whiskey you know is that sour mm -hmm. mash type smell I mean, like a lot like rye bread too you know it, it really is yeah it's uh it's, it's real unique taste you know it's it's i think it's under well it's not done enough yeah, it, you don't it, really see rye beers a lot. It's not done often enough, and I and I think when they are done, a lot of times uh, they're done in these really just hyper experimental beers, mm -hmm. and the rye gets lost in the shuffle sometimes. Yeah, and not so here. I think it's it's center stage. It's exactly out front where it needs to be. It's a nice nice flavor to me, and it, it also lingers a bit. The the rye does. Yeah, it's. It's pretty pretty well balanced. I like um, this amount of hops versus what we had before mm -hmm. in the, in the uh, rye hopper. But see, the, the hops, like, the first thing I get is malt, that mm -hmm. sour malt. And then I get a hop flavor. And then the malt is so powerful that it lingers it just around stays, the end. Yeah, the, the hops yeah. covers it for a while, but then it just kicks right back on, you know. That's what I'm getting. And, uh, but at the same time, it does have a nice finish. Even though the rye does. taste lingers in your mouth, you know. It's, well, it's not unpleasant by any means. No, no. Uh, not much bitterness, you know. You get a little sourness from the rye, but it's not bitter. Exactly. 
and then on the mouthfeel, um, this is light bodied. I'd yeah, it's, it's really light actually. Mm -hmm. It's nice and crisp, like a pale ale, like you think. Yeah, this is actually a, a reasonably good warm weather beer too. I mean, it's, yeah, it, it seems like it. Yeah, you know, on the you know drinkability, is, and that's you know mouthfeel and drinkability kind of hand in hand. You know, yeah, if it's light and crisp, it's going to be very drinkable. Mm -hmm. you know. And this is very drinkable. I, I think it, we're safe in assuming that this growler won't last all that long, and we'll have to go long. get a, you know growler filled again. Um, but definitely, I, you know, this is a good uh, beer for this time of year. Oh yeah. And uh, on to the letter grades. What do you think you're going to give it? I'm going to go with a B plus. Uh, I like this version of the rye beer better than the ones I've had before. It's more balanced. It's, it allows more of the rye to come through when it's not mm -hmm. conflicting with hops like that. And it's a real good, unique taste. I think, you know, like I said, it needs to be done more. And this is a real good, you know, uh, place it should start off. You know, it's really, it's. This is a stepping stone for other beer companies. This is where they need to start from. Yeah, yeah. You know, this could, you know, this is a good uh, sort of uh, template for yeah, for nice. another. Lots of words. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm not correcting him. God, stop it! Don't accuse me. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, I will give it a B plus too. I think um, it's a really good example of what a rye pale ale should taste like. It's a good beer, you know, and. Uh, Definitely go out and try it. If you've never had a rye beer, this would be a really good um, sort of uh, introduction to what, what they taste like. This is what they all taste like. And, you know, maybe you'll love it. It's, it's like I said, it's a bit sour, so it's a bit different than what most of you are going to be used to if you're not used to rye pails. But if you're a beer geek, I mean, you know, it's a rye pail, man. Go get some. Yeah. Or, so this is a well, great one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to be sexist. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, this is a great one to throw in to, to change up your repertoire, you know. It's, yeah, I mean, you, you're tired of the same thing Yeah, you time. get stuck on the same style. This is a great one to throw in. Rye beers work perfectly for that. Mm -hmm. Well, and I guess that's going to do it this week. Definitely head out to Community Taps, fill up a growler, uh, fill it up with this stuff while I got it, and uh, we will see you all next week. Thanks.